You at 11 now in their last meeting of 2020, Spokane City Council officially approved the name change of Fort George Wright Drive. Local tribe members have been fighting years for this moment. Krem 2's Brandon T. Jones spoke with one member that recalls what this journey for change has been like. Learning from your past means acknowledging previous mistakes. For decades, the name on this road behind me was associated with a dark portion of Spokane's history. Moving forward, it'll acknowledge a rich native culture that existed here long before settlers arrived. And it's very easy to say, it's Wistok's way. Wistok's way, it's honoring women warriors of then and now. The quest of removing Colonel George Wright's name from this road has been no easy task. There's been protest, <laughs> petitions, and people using their voice to make change. The, the Red Nation Student Organization at Spokane Falls Community College tried to make this happen back in the 90s. Spokane tribe members like Margot Lee Hill have spent years advocating for the name's removal. Now that the moment has come, it's a sign of progression. She believes it's in large part to the social justice movement that's happening throughout the country this year. When we know better, we do better. Less than 24 hours after Wist Talks Way was made official, Spokane County Golf announced they would be changing one of their course's names to Leda Creek Golf Course, stating the decision was made after a very intentional process to consider historical and or cultural significance of a property. Indian warriors were hung without trial. Margot says the story behind Hangman needs to be told, but she believes all name changes should be considered on a case by case basis. Removing Colonel Wright's name doesn't erase history. Instead, it's focusing on the people that endured those years of oppression. The issue with Fort George Wright, it was honoring a, ma a man who committed genocide. From Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2 News.